Good to know. Oh, what? What did I just spot here? Oh my God. We got some vintage games. Got some N64 stuff and some import N64 stuff. That's pretty interesting because you don't really see this too often. As you saw, we picked up one Xbox game, one Sega game in there somewhere. I also had to stop to get another mojito. They were so freaking good. This time I got strawberries looking delicious. Let's go! What is up, friends, and welcome back to episode 60 of Thrifting Throwdown, the show all about adding retro games to the collection on the cheap. He's as evil as he is frugal. As always, I'm El Dabs Rayero, and today I have a very special episode for you as we throw down in the deep south. Because that's right, I'm in beautiful and historic Savannah, and I'm soaking up the sun, the culture, and the libations. Turn down for what? But you know me, and I can't pass up the opportunity for a good old down south game hunt. So ride along with me as we check out Savannah, try to build this game collection even larger, and try to not break the bank as we do it. That said, let's not waste any time. Lace up your boots. Let's hit the road. It's time for a thrifting throwdown in Savannah. Yeehaw! I mean, oh yeah! This is freaking wild. Wow. I've never seen anything like this before. A rat fink <laughs> statue. I remember when these toys came out and I think maybe there was like a comic or something too, but this is so weird. Why does this exist? Better not watch us singing reasons. Handful of Star Wars figures. We've got Chewbacca. C-3PO. But we've also got a few comics down here and an old cracked magazine. Look how old this thing is, 25 cents. But they're asking 15 for it. Put a happy smile on your face. <laughs> Help stamp out quick stand. Oh God, tell me that's not an orgasm face. It's not a tumor. Another little pile of comics sitting here. And whenever I see comics, I always think that video games can't be far behind because they're sort of like equally nerd baby. Oh, look at that. Superman all tied up like he's into some sort of bondage fetish. That's fun. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping there's some video games floating around somewhere, but I haven't seen any yet. So will these comic books be a harbinger of things to come? I'll let us see in a moment. If you like finding wrestling figures at antique stores, give me a hell yeah. By the way, this guy just resigned due to uh, sexual misconduct allegations, so see you later, Vince. You're getting the Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how cute is this little book room? Got the vintage light up on the ceiling. All the wooden shelves filled with all kinds of vintage books. Well, you got a bunch of Nancy Drew books, for example. Cute little vintage lamps everywhere. Tell me this wouldn't be the perfect little place to sit and read a book. Nerd! I see some vintage glasses. We've got Smurfs. I'm being told this is Holly Hobby, even though I don't really know who the heck that is. Wow. Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Pretty neat. Always like seeing these old glasses out and about. And we've got more freaking comics. Not a little Pluto here, but more comics. So does this mean we're getting closer to the games? I do not know, but I hope so. So I'm literally turning the corner here and seeing this awesome little vintage soda counter. All right, who wants a soda float? I'm buying. Okay, so we didn't turn up any video games, but we did turn up one very vintage Miss Pac-Man arcade game. Super cool looking. Look at this freaking thing. 25 cents a play. You've got the buxom <laughs> yellow lady herself right here. What more could you ask for? You know, even though we didn't find any actual console video games, got to see a little something and you know, that just sort of makes the trip worthwhile. So also we see a cool cash register.
Okay, just a quick update. I stopped for mojito, so if the video starts to go off the rails right now, it's because of the mojito. Thank you for checking in. Boy, we got a little box of games. We see 475, 475, five, okay, okay. Not great, I may, may grab a few if I don't find anything else. Good to know that these are here, so I'm just gonna leave these here for now though. What are these little meditating Sasquatch things? What the heck? It is no longer a legend. Massive eagle mask. Oh my god, look at all these toys up here. I just saw that. I definitely see Mario and Yoshi up there. That's pretty cool, but I mean, how would you ever get any of that stuff down if you wanted it? I think it's just like permanently stuck up there. What do you think, Dashboard Jesus? Oh boy, look what I found. Oh my god, nine bucks. That is a little bit much. Five is better. Nine is not great. Eight is also not great. Wait, nine is even worse. What is going on here? Why are these so expensive? Why do bad things happen to good people? Well, okay, another pile. If I need to come back and pick up some games, I can certainly do that. Let's check over here, I guess. Definitely feeling that mojito right now. Doing a little bit of mojito leaning. <laughs> oh. Disney, VHS here, Lion King, Oliver and Company. I see a Bambi and a Sleeping Beauty. Wow. 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 Can't possibly walk by without mentioning this Turtles Pizza Power game. Even though it's gonna be hard to see behind the glass here, that thing is so freaking cool. And I also saw one of these at that reseller yard sale a few months ago. So definitely check out that episode if you haven't already. Love seeing that Pizza Power thing. It's so freaking cool looking. Wow, Star Snoopy, that is so cool. Color Forms, oh my gosh, I remember those. That is so fun. With Color Forms' Incredible Hulk adventure set. I'll be an Incredible Hulk. I'll you can pretend gonna... lots of things. Huh? Like the Hulk is battling his arch enemy Rhino. Wow. Or single-handedly capturing a gang of evildoers. You can pretend lots of exciting adventures with your imagination and Color Forms' Incredible Hulk. All right, I think I just found the coolest freaking X-Men cups ever from Pizza Hut. Oh my God, these are freaking awesome. Gambit and Rogue with the freaking X-Men. Oh my God. And the holes are unpunched on top. That is so amazing. You got Cyclops. I think that's Phoenix. Bishop. Oh my God. Mega nostalgia. Also, I haven't decided yet if I'm mega tipsy or just regular tipsy. So you guys tell me in the comments down below. How tipsy am I right now? Okay, there's some really cool stuff up here. I just saw this gargoyle set. VHS tape. I've seen this other places too, but now you take a closer look at it. Ooh, gargoyle facts. No two gargoyles are exactly alike. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, what? What did I just spot here? Oh my god. We got some vintage games. And some vintage wrestling stuff, which is also cool. Very freaking cool. Oh my god, Sega! So I do see $30 on that Mega Man cartridge right there. So that's kind of interesting. We got Excite Bike, Willow. I'm gonna have to check the prices on these. I would pick up Willow, that sounds cool. So let's put this thing back. 
But I also want to show you, look at all these old wrestling VHS. World of Women's Wrestling? What the heck? That has to be super rare. Also got some G.I. Joe VHS. Yo, Joe! G.I. Joe. Very nice. But yeah, I have to check on the price for these games. A few moments later. And I assume those are all just empty cases back there, right? Um, I'm not sure actually. Oh, okay, so that one has a price of 18, I can and see. And these are probably on the, of course this one doesn't have price. So 12 for Tiny Tunes. had no price yeah and those are just cases gotcha can you happen to reach the ones in the bottom there i just noticed there's the sega down there too so there's like two loose games in the back and that one case all the way in the back yeah right i want to make sure they don't come with the system. oh oh i see that let's see it says sega with two controllers it doesn't mention okay. the game sorry this is like a really awkward uh, angle to reach in at <laughs> no it's all good it's just the one it was the reflection in the back 15 bucks that's not bad do they ever haggle on this stuff or is it pretty anything much anything under 25 we can't work on okay we have uh 30 different dealers in here so yeah. we want to make sure they all get their i figured i figured i mean 15 bucks for say game i might consider this let's see complete so that's good what were the two loose ones that are hanging out back there behind those aladdins oh or one sorry i've seen the reflection there we got zoop Zoop for five bucks. Oh, cover. Oops. <laughs> I just threw it. Okay. I'm the clumsiest, but yeah, it's covered in, covered in Blockbuster stickers. I'll probably pass on that. Let me think about this balls one here because that could be interesting. Yeah, no problem. Do you want me to hold it up front while you're still there? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Thank you. Already, you're gonna be at 2113. Okay, thank you so much. All right, just left that antique mall. As you saw, we picked up one Xbox game, one Sega game in there somewhere. I also had to stop to get another mojito. They were so freaking good. This time I got strawberry. It's looking delicious. See a tour bus going by. But yeah, it's overpaid on this stuff. Paid pretty much retail price. Ooh. But hey, it's vacation. I'm picking up some games I wouldn't normally see, like that Sega Genesis game in really nice condition. So that's fine. I'll pay 15 bucks for that this time. Uh, maybe the alcohol made me do it. Who knows? But there's still more vacation left. There's more time to thrift, more time to find games. So let's hit the road, see what else we can find in Savannah. Yeehaw. <laughs> Toys over here. I see some robots on the top shelf, and then we've got Baby Yoda, but also Pizza Time, Michelangelo. So that's pretty cool. And then someone's broken glass that's sitting here. That's pretty cool. And some old Dick Tracy toys. Those are actually kind of cool to see. I wonder what year these are from. Uh, I don't see a year on there. Okay, so whatever year these are from, I'll put it up on the screen. But those are pretty interesting looking. This guy's seen better days. He's looking sickly. Then we got the man himself, Dick Tracy, with his yellow hat and his bathrobe. I see you got the little Wii here. Do you have any? Do you have any other games or anything? Or just those? No, so it's give me twenty for that. Twenty. Give me twenty for the Wii. Let me charge everything. I see that. Yeah, you got the charger and stuff. Oh, there are games sitting here. What do we got? What do we got? Anything you like? Give me twenty. Take a look here. Stuck. Harry Potter, okay. We got some Guitar Hero stuff. Oh, I see a Wii Sports in there too. Hole in one! What are you doing on just the games? Five bucks. Five each? Yeah. If I grab all three of these, what would you do for them? Take that one. What's that? This? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not so, I'm not really looking for that, I don't think. Give me 12. 12? Yeah, okay. You can do that. 12 bucks. 
All right, it is official. We did score some games in Savannah. We picked up Wii Sports, a Guitar Hero World Tour, and Harry Potter years five to seven for the Wii, 12 bucks for this little pile of games. That's like four bucks a piece, a little higher than what I would normally pay, but you know, Wii Sports is a $20 game, so that's a pretty good pick up there. I'm not done looking around though. I wanna see if I can find some more games while we're out here in Savannah at this little interesting flea market. So stick around and see what else we can find. Oh, I see a whole bunch of Skylanders figures here. These are the sort of thing that like, if I knew anything about them, I could probably pick some of them up. And honestly, this thing is super cute. Cinderella mouse. Oh, we got a Ryan's World toy there. Some Peppa Pig, some Thomas the Tank Engine. This booth has all the toys pretty much, but oh look, even Shredder of some kind. Whole bunch of Marvel stuff. But where the heck are the games? Where the heck are the games? Bunch of cool toys in here, like way too many cool toys. Like I see a Bobby's World. Oh, gee. of course I instantly knocks him over. Instantly, instantly. Just to show you this. It was worth it. I'm knocking everything over. I'm knocking everything over. Oh my god! I remember this Inspector Gadget stuff. That is so cool. I've not seen these in forever. That is so freaking nostalgic for me. Oh my god, and I dropped him. I'm literally dropping freaking everything. Oh, we got a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man down there. Suddenly the music cut out so like you can actually hear me. How's it going? What are you asking on the Xbox sitting here? Yeah. Uh, 80. 80 bucks? 80. 80. That's pretty good, yeah. So you got the choice uh, too? No. Do you know if you have any games floating around? Games? Yeah, the games one, itself. Uh, one, uh, 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 one game. Oh, there's one inside of it. Yeah. Okay, no. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'll think about that. Thank okay, you very sorry. much. 80 bucks on that thing. Oh, I just sold some PS5 stuff. How's it going? What are you asking on the PS5 yeah. games over here? That's all I have. What was that? That's all I have. Yeah, what, how much are you asking on them? Um, $15. For all of them? No, each. Oh, 15 <laughs> each. <laughs> 15 and 10. The PS4, I believe... I have two. Okay. Ten. Ten dollars. Uh, okay. Let me take a quick look. If I skip those, would you take ten for this one? Fifteen. <laughs> okay. If I do fifteen for this, we throw this one in for five. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Make me feel like I'm getting a little bit of a deal at least. Okay. <laughs> Got some N64 stuff and some import N64 stuff. That's pretty interesting because you don't really see this too often. But I think everything here is individually priced, so. Well, let's take a quick look and see what we can find. Damn, this is shocking. Like, I don't think I've ever seen this many import N64 games anywhere. So then the obvious question, are they reproduction? Are they real carts? Because they all look super clean. Like, all the labels are pretty much perfect on these. That one has some fading, so maybe that one's authentic really hard to tell but as fun as it would be i don't think i'm gonna be getting any of these do you know if any of these are on the cheaper end like five bucks or under uh anything i'm just sort of shopping by price right now five bucks yeah anything five dollars no. under that one, no, no. what about this stuff here yeah. well i guess that's now yeah. any of these here on the cheaper end no okay good to know thank you huge pile of games here like a massive pile of games so i'm gonna guess these are all individually priced look at mario kart just sitting here green we nunchuck sitting there some ds stuff oh look the bottom shelf has some ataris as well we got tekken 5 for 15 bucks tekken 4 for 15 bucks that's cool i don't see tekken too often so, in a situation like this, what I normally do is go through and look for all the cheap stuff. So let me do exactly that. I'm gonna go through and see if I can find any cheap stuff. So hang tight. Uh, let's see, anything, anything, anything that's really jumping out at me that I wanna see if I wanna get. So this is a good time to mention, I don't necessarily know all the prices off the top of my head. I do usually look them up and put them in the videos, but off the top of my head, I'm not great at knowing the prices on this stuff, so. If there's anything in here super valuable and I'm just scrolling right past it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. What did I miss out on here? Well, that's cool. You got the whole little case there with a bunch of the discs. Yeah. That's handy. Perfect. Thank you so much. You want to press it back? No, I'm going to throw it in the backpack. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day.
All right, there we go. Two more quick pickups. We got Final Fantasy 12. We got Block You for the PSP. Not really the best pickups I could have got there because you saw they had a huge, huge, huge pile of games to look through. Unfortunately, the guy didn't have them priced. And like every single one I pulled out, he was like, oh, that's 15. Oh, that's 20. Oh, that's this. So I was like, okay, it is way too hot. I'm like sweating my freaking head off right now. So I was like, I will take these two. And that is it. 10 bucks. Let's do it. So yeah, it is getting super hot. Gonna walk around a little bit more. Maybe I can find one or two more things, but we are getting close to having to call this because it is freaking hot out here in this Georgia sun. We got a bunch of tiny little toys to look at. So many boots, I'm surrounded by boots. So much footwear. All right guys, El Dab Troyer is officially going cowboy. I'm picking out my first set of sunflower boots. I'm gonna be a real macho man soon. Ah! Uh, excuse me, miss, do you know where the games are? Ma'am? Ma'am? Well, that didn't work, nothing will. Oh my God, we got more games over here. We got some GameCube stuff, some PlayStation stuff. Even some old stuff there, four bucks on Spec Ops. Oh, that's not too, too bad, I don't think. So I don't know if you see what I see, but that's a $4 game right there. I think I'm gonna be getting that one out of the case. Nothing else looks that cheap though, but we'll see. All right, so it is right here, over two from there. Yep, that one, perfect, thank you. Thank you. I don't uh, suppose you had any others you knew that were like four bucks off the top of your head, right? No, but the more you buy, the better I can do. So if you uh, yeah, let me take a quick look here. Yeah, yeah, let me take a quick, quick look at this, see what I need here. If there's some with five on them, I'll go four bucks. Okay, yeah, so this one here doesn't have a price. Which one? One over from there. This? This direction. This direction. One, yep, one more. Sorry. That's <laughs> right. Yep, there you go. That one didn't have a price as far as I could tell. Would you do four on that one? Let me see real quick, because some of these are kind of... Okay, sure, not a problem. So he's gonna look that price up real quick. It is freaking hot. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off the camera for a little bit just because my phone's dying, but I'm at least gonna pick up a few games here, so hang tight. A few moments later. All right, I settled on Pac-Man Party and the Spend 10 Galactic Racing just because I could not stand there looking at those games any longer. But the guy did thankfully give me a deal, 10 bucks for these two games, five a piece, not too bad. But I think it's just about time to wrap things up here. As awesome as this place has been, as massive as it was, as interesting as it was to be walking around what I assume is like an old plantation, which, you know, has some ethical quandaries associated with it. At the same point, this was a pretty interesting flea market and we did manage to score some games. The real question is, did we get them at a good enough price? Will we be around that three to four dollar average? Either way though, it is hot as heck, so let's hit the road. Let's get the heck out of here and go cool off. All right, Dabba Maniacs, obviously we're not back in the game room. We're at the rooftop pool of the hotel here, checking out Savannah one last time before we head home from this awesome trip. We finally lucked into a great vacation. Beautiful city, had such a great time checking out historic Savannah, and you know I had a great time hunting for video games on this trip as well. 
There's the pool, like I said, and here is the game hall. Boom, we've got some really interesting stuff here. I did look up most of the prices really quick, and we've got a ton that are between $10 and $15 here. So even though I don't think I'm gonna be near my two to $3 average price that I like to be, I think I overpaid a little bit on this trip down here in Savannah, I still picked up some pretty cool stuff. Personally, I'm excited about this Pac-Man party game. That looks like a lot of fun. I always love picking up Final Fantasy games as well. This is definitely a good one. I enjoyed this one a lot. But we've got some other really neat stuff here as well, like Wii Sports. That's obviously a $20 to $30 bill, so that's a nice little pickup. Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS5, adding to my PS5 collection because I really don't have that many PS5 games at this point. We even managed to pick up a PSP game with this block is portable game here. Ben 10 Racer, and obviously the highlight here, this $15 Sega Genesis game, Balls fighting at its <laughs> ballsiest. fighting game you know not one of the ones you think of a lot when you think of old school fighting games but it's something I did not have in the collection it's in great condition so I did pay up a little bit for this one this time just for the memories you know just for the experience because how many times are you gonna be down in Savannah Georgia hunting for video games out in the hot 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 Sun so yeah really awesome little trip so I'm not gonna clean these up like I normally do. I'm just gonna go through my uh, normal spiel here. So basically, this is all about the collection and I have no idea where the collection stands right now. So let's throw that up on the screen and take a look at things after this Savannah, Georgia Thrift and Expedition. The game collection is growing by leaps and bounds, which is always fun. I love adding games to the collection, especially when it's stuff I don't normally see around my own area. But yeah, at this point, I always like to tell you, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, especially if you enjoy me hitting up Savannah, hitting up different cities than usual, just checking out what's around, checking out what's in the area, you know? Hit that like button if you also love me filming at this rooftop pool up here in Savannah, overlooking the beautiful city. And absolutely do not forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite pickup from this trip was. Let me know if there's any other cities you want me to check out and do some thrifting in. I'm trying to do more traveling, trying to see more of the world, and you know, that includes picking up video games. Also, if you have not already, if you love my thrifting journeys, if you love video games, if you love thrift hunting, hit that subscribe button. You will not regret it. You can join my tag team, become one of my little dab of maniacs, and you will be here for every single video game pickup, and you absolutely do not want to miss that. We had a ton of fun in Savannah, but it is time to wrap things up because all good things do come to an end. So thank you so much for watching because as I always say, thrifting is way more fun with friends and I love having you along for the ride. But that just about wraps things up. I have got a flight to catch. So until next time, keep on thrifting. Oh yeah. How's it going? What are you asking on the PS5 games over here?